We're so glad to continue coming to you with sh short messages to share about the joy of Christmas. This is our church sanctuary on Nangata Road, uh, outside of the city of Nairobi, where we have the Christmas tree and what is considered to be some gifts that are wrapped. And this is a common feature, especially in the West. I was I had the opportunity of studying in the West, in the United States of America, for five years. And I know what this means. And this time, it's a culture that I still think is good, though it doesn't happen so commonly here with us, that we can exchange gifts through Christmas. But the most significant thing about gifts is what we bring. Because when we saw them going to see baby Jesus as an infant, the Bible says they broke, they brought gifts and put them down in the feet of the mother, recognizing the Lordship of Christ. And for us, as we go to this Christmas, I believe that Christmas is a time to express love and care. And I like a statement to the fact that Christmas then is about peace and giving and love. God's love for us and our love for him and for each other. Here is the way um, uh, Arrhenius expressed that idea. At the word of God, who is Christ, on account of his great love for mankind, became what we are in order to make us what he is himself. What a statement by this church father that re reminds us during this Christmas time. And I want to read that statement one more time. Associated with a church father, Nari church father, Renaeus, at the word of God. Remember, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In, other, in the beginning was the word. And the word became fresh and dwelt among us. And that is the aspect of what we define as Christ being Emmanuel, God with us. So, Jesus Christ, on account of his great love from humanity, became what we are in order to make us what he is himself. We approach what he is when you observe Christians in the spirit of self-giving. So I want to urge all of us, wherever you are around the world, if you are in the West, I know what happens there. I know how many boxes are packed around your Christmas tree. It's not imaginary boxes, but real boxes with certain gifts. But even for you who doesn't have a gift, who may not even have a new dress or a new shoe, whatever, there's one gift that you can have. And that gift is Christ himself ruling your heart upon invitation so that you can have this peace, so you can experience what it is to become an ambassador of Christ because Christ is ruling your life. So this Christmas is a great opportunity to demonstrate selflessness, to be able to give. We celebrate something, an act of uh, love and kindness that was demonstrated uh, recently by our young people by visiting one of the Nairobi's children home, and they went out and took gifts to those people in that children's home. And they did it in the name of Christ. And as part of an expression of love during this season of Christmas. 
And I urge you, please don't think about only yourself. Because the one whose birth we remember denied himself to take the human form so that he can come. And he came so that we may experience him as the Prince of Peace. Lord, we thank you once again for the things that we continue to learn this season. We ask that God, across this world, there will be people who will choose the path of selflessness as they emulate who you are to become a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen.